Tribe TV. I'm Amelia with your announcement. School Picture Day will be Wednesday, August 23rd. Also on that day, teachers will have a mandatory craze training in the lecture hall after school from 3.30 until 4.15. Also next week is the annual shrimp bowl and the game will be at home on Friday, August 25th against Stone County High School. Speaking of sports, here's Amelia with our sports segment for this week. Sports producer practice and spoke with players about upcoming season. Here's what they had to say. I'm here with Jalen. What grade are you in? Junior. Why you can play football? Uh, it's football fun. Like the contact. Have fun. Is this your first year? Yeah, it's my first year. What made you choose to play for Bullet Team? Bullet Team was a good school on the coast. They have a good football team. And the academics is good. Anything you got to say? Go in. My name is Eric. What grade you? I'm in 12th. Uh, what position do you play? I play nose guard. Why did you choose to play football? I've been playing since I was a kid. So um, I think we're a 10 because we have a lot of ball players that can, you know what I'm saying, go get it. Um, I expect us to shock the world because we've been doubting it so much. So we're going to come out here and you know, show them what we're looking for. This week, Biloxi football kicks off its season with the Jamboree against Goshen High School on August 18th. The game will be here at Biloxi High School at 7 p.m. I'm Jaquia Thompson and I'm Lily Lyle. And today we're at the volleyball tournament and we're seeing what parents and players are looking forward to. Go, Biloxi! Go, Biloxi! Michelle Seymour, I'm Ava Seymour's mom. She plays for Biloxi High Volleyball and she's number nine. And what I'm most excited about seeing this year is that she's a senior and this is her last year. Go Biloxi. y'all. Next up, we'd like to wish a happy birthday to all of the students who are celebrating this week. This week, Tribe TV reporters asked students if they could name their BHS counselors. Here's what you all had to say. Um, my counselor's name is Miss Heather Dio. She is the best counselor out there. You other counselors, I'm sorry. You got in second place. Miss Dio is first place, always. Miss <laughs> Rosetti. <laughs> Tierra Beasley, that is my homegirl since fourth grade. I love her. My counselor is Ms. Barnett. Uh, she is a great person. My counselor is Ms. Dito. She's great. I love her. She does the most for me. Ms. Beasley is my counselor. Ms. Barnett, and she's really nice and understanding, and she gets things done. My counselor is Ms. Dito. My counselor is Ms. She's nice. How to Jack Barnett. What I love most about her is she's always accommodating in my schedule. My counselor's kids with Lawrence, and I really feel like she's a really good counselor because I had some struggles with my schedule. And she she was a really good guy, showed me how to fix it, what class I should take. She was really cool. My counselor is Coach Barnes, and I know Coach Barnes very well, and she's a very great woman. I got with Vita. And she's a really sweet and nice lady. She always I'm going to see her. I'm going to stop I'm going to see her. 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 I'm Ms. Barnett, and I'm counselor for students whose last names begin with the letters A through L. Hey, Biloxi, hi. My name is Ms. Beasley, and I have last names G through L. Hi, I'm Ms. Parks, and my last name letters are letters N through R. Hi, I'm Heather D. 
Benito. I am counselor for students whose last names are S through Z. Hi, my name is David Rossetti. I'm the counselor for any career tech student who is taking a two-year career tech program. We really do have the best counselors around. Uh, thank you for all of your hard work helping us with schedules, college prep, and personal needs. We appreciate all that you do. Last week, Ms. Martin introduced our new Victory Bell tradition. And this week, we got to spend some time with the first honorees. These students are some of the top ACT achievers at BHS. All right, well, good afternoon. We are here for our first Victory Bell segment. The chosen group are some very high achievers concerning the ACT. So that is our selected group for the week. And just momentarily, we're going to go out and we're going to read that Victory Bell. I feel like when I first heard about it my sophomore year, I did not take it seriously. I was just like, oh, that's just another test they want me to take. I'm probably not going to end up taking it because I didn't know much about it. But then I started looking into it and what it was, and I realized, oh my gosh, it's like one of the best things colleges look at That's when I, they're choosing whether or not to accept you. My first time was during freshman year, and honestly, it's hard to remember that far. Yeah. But yeah. like James, I didn't really take it seriously. Okay. And I was like, if I do bad, I do bad. If I do good, I do good. Okay. I heard about it in seventh grade, and it, with the Duke tip. Yep. And. I made a really bad score, yeah. but then in sophomore year, that's when they started focusing on ACT strategy and something like that in class, and yeah, just like James said, it's really important for colleges, they scholarships and stuff like that, so. AP reading. Yes, or ACT and Ms. Roberts. Ms. Roberts. Really good. good. Really good with that. She's yes. good. I mean, like, I got a 34, and then my parents would just, like, keep taking it over and over again. I got, I mean. Four times? Yeah. No. First, <laughs> first time, I took it, like, completely blind. I had no idea what I was doing. But the second time, I, I knew what to expect. I knew the first time, hey, I ran out of time in this section and this section, but I was doing okay in these ones. The second time, I was able to focus more on time management in those bad sections. If you are looking to take it for the first time or are looking to increase your score, be on the lookout for upcoming information about our Saturday boot camp sessions. Small group study sessions are a proven way to increase your ACT score. Here are some national ACT dates. You can take the test locally at Ocean Springs, Long Beach, West Point, St. Martin, Pascagoula, Gautier, or Hancock High Schools. Our school dates ACTs are scheduled for Tuesday, October 17th. That's all for this week. Thanks for watching Tribe TV. Don't, Don't forget, forget to, to like, like, follow, and subscribe on, on social media. media.